All right, uh, Kevin from The Hungry Outlaw here. I'm in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, hanging out at the Salute Market, hanging out with my boy Rob from Kent State University. He came down here a couple years ago to Florida uh, with his family, and they had this great concept here for Palm Beach Gardens to bring Salute Market to Palm Beach, the Palm Beach area. You guys know that with Hungry Outlaw, I talk a lot about Cleveland, Ohio, because that's my home. This is a perfect representation of what Cleveland, Ohio brings to the table when we get out into other markets away from Cleveland. So thanks to uh, Rob Lefkowitz and his wife Michelle and his brother Tommy, they found a way to bring that down here to Palm Beach Gardens. Now that we've uh, seen the restaurant, let's go inside and see what they got. We're gonna have a killer lunch today. It's gonna be fantastic. So let's go hang out with Rob and Michelle and Tommy and see what's going on. What a beautiful place. Well, thank you, I appreciate that. And this is your uh, Salou Market Credo? It is. Uh, it was my only insistence in this market. Number one, it's about you. Without you, there is no us, period. My entire professional career, that's what I did. I made it about them. To me, business is a reciprocal relationship. You, you respect my right to earn a living, and I respect your right to pay a fair price. But at the end of the day, it ain't about me, it's about you. Because without you, there is no me. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. the truth. Right, so, uh, we're here with Michelle and um, having a nice, frothy beverage. But uh, you guys invited us over here for lunch today, so I want to thank you for that. Um, what is it? So, Salute Market's been here for about a, I know you got the spot about a year ago. Right. Tell me a little bit about Salute Market, what got you guys started. Where did, it, where did the concept come from? Just tell me a little bit about Salute. Um, the concept really came from the fact that we love to eat and we love to drink. Yeah. Cocktails, wine, my husband loves draft beer. You know, those, It's all about the things that we love and how we enjoy life. So whether it's with our friends or whether it's with our family, we're all about enjoying life. Food, yeah. food and cocktails, yeah. wine, yeah. beer. And these are some great cocktails <laughs> to enjoy life with. Right. Uh, now, I just had a chance to have a meatball. Now I'm gonna just just be, one meatball? I just have, uh, I'm going to spread it out today okay, a little okay, bit. i got to pace myself. Yourself. But I appreciate starting with a meatball because being Italian, that was the one thing that my grandma always had. And I compare every meatball to, to grandma's my grandma's. meatball, yes. And i got to tell you, you got a pretty damn good meatball. Thank you. I've yeah. heard that before. <laughs> yeah, so why, why is your meatball so good? Yeah. So our secret, because we don't really you know keep things a secret here, we share our recipes. So that people can go home and try and do it, and they'll never oh, get really? it just right. But Instead of using breadcrumbs, we use the bread soaked in milk. So it gives it that creamier texture and that kind of like, wow, this isn't what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it was a, I felt like it was a perfectly cooked meatball. Again, I'm, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a big critic on meatballs. Sure. So they have to be very tender. And like, yeah. you know, I, my grandma cooked her meatballs in the sauce. I mean, just a little bit brown just on the outside. Mm -hmm. But I kind of got that sense that like, I mean, they were done in a very similar fashion to how my grandma did. So now, I also had some of the corned beef. And I know you guys have a nice little, you know, uh, you're not just getting corned beef here locally. Like, how, where does your corned beef come from? Why is corned beef such an important thing for Salute Market? Okay, so uh, I'm Italian, but my husband Rob and his twin brother are Jewish. Yeah. They, we all grew up in Cleveland, and we always went to Corky Eleni's or Jack's Deli or Slimans. You know, all the best corned beef in Cleveland. And when we came down here, we asked everybody, where's the best corned beef? And they would send us to this deli in Boca or to a deli in Boynton Beach. And we drove all over the place and tasted all this corned beef, and none of it was good enough. Yeah. So we got some samples in. They cooked it for us. You know, we cooked it. It wasn't good enough. So we kept researching and researching. We went back home and we talked to the people at Corky's and said, hey, we moved to Florida. We're no competition. Tell us how you make your corned beef. Yeah. And we did enough research, and then we ended up finding the right meat is really where it starts. 
and we get it out of Chicago, it's a Vienna beef product, which is what makes it fantastic. And then we also had to call up a Bubby and get the special little ingredient that gives it that little something that you don't know why it's so good, but it's delicious. It is absolutely delicious. So again, you guys bring Cleveland here in a big way. We do. So how is it, like, why was it important for you guys to incorporate Cleveland, Ohio to Salute Market in yeah, West Palm Garden? Yeah. Um, it's a great question. It is a great question. That's why I have goosebumps. Because it's where our heart is. We're always going to love Cleveland. It's where we grew up. I mean, our whole families, our whole life, we grew up in Cleveland. So just because we wanted the palm trees and the beach doesn't mean that we wanted to give up the comforts of home. Right. And when I eat that Corky and Jack's, I feel like I'm sitting at Corky and Lenny's, you know, or Jack's Deli. Um, when we're eating the meatballs and we're making Sunday sauce, so many people down here, they don't do Sunday sauce. They don't do big family dinners because there's a lot of relocated people. So we created our salute family and our customers are our friends and they're our family. Yeah. And that's, I mean, I can't tell you, this place on a Friday night is full of people. We walk in and we know everybody by their name because we want it to feel like home. Yeah. So we've created a little piece of home here. Yeah, and those meatballs, you get the sense that you're back on Murray Hill. Exactly. Just really enjoying it. You know what, Dave? You know, so you saw the sign on my wall. It's about you. Without you, there is no us. Yeah. Period. Yeah. The problem down here, you know, we, we are very active owners. I talk to everyone that comes in this place. We ask for feedback. We have made massive changes based on feedback because it, 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 this is for you. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, and if I, if I say, nope, this is it, this is the concept, this is what I'm sticking to, and I'm not bendable, I'm not flexible. You fail. You fail. You'd be for out sure. of business. Yeah. All right, so um, we got some food starting to come out here. We got a couple appetizers here. Why don't you tell us what we're, what we're about to enjoy here? So this is our Greatness. antipasto platter. <laughs> the antipasto platter, uh, we have prosciutto di Parma, we have Beck. Oh man, that's phenomenal, whatever it's Beck, okay. And then the, this is a Pecorino Toscana with peppercorns, a drunken goat cheese. Um, it's actually from Spain, and they actually soak the cheese in wine, in, yeah. like indigenous to that yeah. area. It's phenomenal cheese. And then this is Parmesan Reggiano. And then our house marinated olives, house made fig jam, a quince paste, and I cannot forget the same, Andre triple cream grape. Wow, that is fantastic. And that? as an Italian, you have to have an antipasto. <laughs> I want to say this, if anyone has gone completely insane over something, it's that. That's why I said yeah. I had. So tell me what the, tell me so what we're about to eat. This is a goat cheese stuffed date wrapped in bacon, dipped it in the paprika aioli. So goat cheese, goat cheese stuffed date wrapped in bacon with the chipotle aioli. Uh, paprika uh, aioli. Paprika aioli, my oh, bad. Watch this. I know what's coming. <laughs> you know what's coming. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for wrapping a date with bacon. <laughs> so, what I love about this is that you have so much going on. You can create a crazy number of different bites mm -hmm. or concoctions. Is this like a jardinier? Yeah, homemade. Mario pickles his own vegetables. Okay. Now, doesn't this look like a plate of fun to play with? Right. And it is. You just you put the different things together and you get all kinds of different flavors. So, like the triple cream brie, you go right in here, right? I'll make you a bite. And then dip a little bit of that. Oh, look what I did. There's really no rules. So there's a bite. Oh my goodness. This is good. Now, bottle of red wine, white wine. What was this again? That's a house made fig jam. Wow, fig jam and brie? Uh huh. Yeah, I get it. So let's take a look at this. So, again, we talked about the corned beef getting uh, shipped in from Chicago wanting to bring the best corned beef to uh, the West Palm area. I think we got it here. I mean, look at this thing. Looks like a perfect Reuben to me, man. I mean, that, and look at that potato salad to go with it. I mean, does it get any more fresh than that? Does it get any better than that? This one's gonna be a pretty great one to get into. We're gonna do some eating later, man. It's gonna be fantastic. As an Italian, the Campanella is the perfect Italian sub. 
So, named after uh, Michelle here. That's uh, her, her, her family name before she became a Lefkowitz. So, I mean, you look on there, I see, you know, brzeut, salami, uh, pepperoni, uh, or not, not brzeut, uh, capicola, uh, good provolone. It just looks like the perfect sandwich with a nice pasta salad to go with it. Uh -huh. Do you Fantastic. Know what sandwich that is? Yes, this is the campanella. That's this the is, campanella. This is your namesake. That's yeah, beer. this is the perfect combination. This is the perfect mix to show the blending of cultures. <laughs> yes. Even though our cultures are technically pretty close. Right. Um, this is this is awesome. I mean, these sandwiches look absolutely amazing. So now we're gonna get into a little bit of wine. So what, what's right. this one? So this is the Sean Miner Four Bears Pinot Noir. Light, easy drinking. It's on our happy hour menu, our glass pour list. Um, you buy it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It's light, but yeah, uh -huh. very good. Wow. Then you know. Somebody say short rib. Oh my oh, god! Oh, goodness. perfect timing because that'll go right with. Oh yeah. Uh, really, the knife is just to separate it because you don't even need you it. You don't even need the knife. So let's see. All right. So we're about to take a bite of the short rib. Oh wow. It's about the experience. Yeah, that is a combination. One of the other things that makes us special is that we love to promote other people that are doing something that they're passionate about. Local businesses, entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. like it's it's not easy. And mm -hmm. now that we've gone through it, we have a whole different level of respect for anybody that's really out there following their dreams, because that's what we did. And this lady right here, her name's Lynn, she started a company called Brown Bag Popcorn Company. Mm -hmm. She always wanted to pop popcorn and do different crazy flavors. And, well, here you have white chocolate, peanut butter, sea salt, caramel, You can't tell me popcorn. first. I always. I can read it. Yeah, he can you can read. read. Well, right. can't, can't read, can't write. Yes, we're Kent State alum. Oh my God. I apologize in advance. Yeah. yeah. Now, again, back to the pairings. Take a sip of that after a big bite of this. It, it's insane how good it is. <laughs> it really is. It's insane. I love you, brother. No. Yeah, I'm just doing it right now. We're pairing it with artists. the Gorky and Jack. All right. So now Beautiful. you're going to take, take a sip, take a bite, take a sip. Oh man, just the beer alone is excellent. All right, here we go. The Corky and Jacks. It's a famous moment. Uh, uh. Located. I'm, I'm holding back. Church. I'm holding out. I'm holding. You're speechless. You can do it. You can't live in Cleveland. You just bring Cleveland with you. You bring Cleveland with you. Oh, Amen. You bring Cleveland with you. Bread? Oh my god, perfect. Wash it down with that beautiful water. There you go. Tony's our resident beer expert, knows everything there is to know about beer. So we have different specialties wow. for different alcohols. So now, just to talk about the bread for a minute, because mm -hmm. you're going to engage in next the uh, most popular bread that we have. All of our bread, we it, just like with the corned beef, we interviewed five different bakeries. I have pictures of them bringing us trunk loads of bread for us to try. So, Old School Bakery in Delray Beach. They rock out the bread, we buy it from them, we get it delivered fresh from them, and that's the white bread, the wheat bread, and this is their famous baguette oh, that yeah. people go crazy for. And it's got the perfect amount of crispy texture to it. This campanella you can also get pressed on a hoagie bun. Same with yeah. all it's, it's ridiculous. And that's, that's got a uh, hot pepper relish on it that we make in house. That sandwich all right. smells amazing. And it's not First even warm. Take a look at that. There we go. Yeah. You do it, do it right. Yeah. That's an Italian sub. It's the type of sub I grew up eating as a child. That, you know, in Cleveland, you're gonna get that at Ferrara's, mm -hmm. you're gonna get that at Aleshi's, you're gonna get it down in Little Italy, but you're not gonna get it here. They just don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> now we got the we got the whole group here. So we got, you know, 
Rob, Michelle, and Tommy. Uh, this is a, a just a great family thing that you guys have really started here, man. Congratulations to you Thank guys. You. Thank you. I mean, this is really awesome. And wrapping up with you guys, just want to tell you thank you for having us out today for lunch. And uh, Hungry Outlaw is a, a proud supporter of Salute Market. As is, as is Salute Market, a right. proud thank supporter you. of the Hungry Outlaw. Tommy, yeah. unbelievable. Guys, that's a wrap. All right, so uh, what, what are we drinking here, Mason? This is a Texas lemonade at the Salute Market. Yeah, Texas lemonade. Everybody needs one in their life. It's a little bit of Tito's, a little bit of Natalie's lemonade. Muddle up a couple blackberries, a couple strawberries. And it's the best thing you put in your mouth. Cheers. I know it's good. I know it's high quality because I pay for it. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You know. Is that? All right. That That's quality oh, brazil. Yeah, I did. With our red wine. Pecorino. Yeah. Okay. Some Chardonnay. How's that texture? But it's creamy. The combination of things on here is just absolutely phenomenal. Now, the St. Bernardus beer? Yeah. I have a nickname for that. Okay. It's called the Bad Choices beer. The bad Choices beer. Because everybody, when they drink one, they start making bad choices. They stay out too late. <laughs> they stay out. Oh, look, see? These are our barbershop guys over there yeah. laughing. Yeah. They drink St. Bernardus and make bad choices. So they're making bad choices. Yep, now. they make bad look choices. Look at that. Well, no, they're working now, but. Well, they're about to make bad choices. Yeah.